players and fans converging here at Dick Dillette's Soccer Stadium as West Virginia defeats State of Adventure today 4 to nothing. A good performance for the second straight time against the Atlantic Tinfo. And joining me now in the booth, Wes Shuler, I'm Michael Minnick. Wes, we thought this would be the way it would go. It certainly was. Mountaineers, dominant in possession, dominant in chances, dominant on the scoreboard. Yeah, that total 90-minute performance that Dan Stratford was looking for, they were relentless, they were hungry, they kept their foot on the gas the entire time. That's the type of performance you want to see heading into conference play next week. Run of play was good for the Mountaineers, but it was a set piece, West that got the Mountaineers rolling. Yeah, it absolutely was, and they had plenty of opportunities on set pieces, deciding to go short here, and then the big man with the header. Kevin Morris finishing his second goal of the year. As we said, two shots on goal, two goals. Not a bad day for the fifth year player for West Virginia, celebration with the Maniacs. And then in the second half, Mouthier is able to really build up and do some nice things with Jimenez Albelda starting it. Yeah, they built on that, you know, just lion share of possession that they had in the first 45 minutes. They stayed on the front foot the entire second half, able to get some breathing room there. And, uh, and some nice goalkeeping by both goaltenders as well, too, certainly to keep the score closer uh, to Keski here with one of the few challenges that he faced this afternoon. Yeah, and a routine day for him. Made two saves officially on the score sheet. Did Steven Kekeski. Final stats here, Mountaineers quadrupling the bodies and, and shots. And that tells the story. It, it absolutely does. The shots, the shots on goals, the corners as well, too. The fouls you see with the Bonnies playing on the back foot more often. It was really a, a start to finish uh, the Mountaineers' day here at DDS. Steven Tukeski keeping his fifth clean sheet of the season. He joined us after the game to talk more about his team's performance in front of him. Steven, a second straight clean sheet. What do the guys in front of you do to make it easy for you today? I mean, the guys in front of me, they do everything. Uh, it's been a process over the, over the few years to have guys in here doing things that they're doing. Um, they communicate well with the guys in front of them. Uh, they block shots really well. I mean, I think the last two games, I might have had three shots to deal with. So it makes things really easy for me on uh, the back of the goal. But uh, no, they're very consistent as well in front of me. And that's something that I've been looking for for a while. But it's very good from them. Steven, now three straight clean sheets here at Dick DeLess Soccer Stadium. What's been the key to that for you in the back line? Uh, a lot of communication. Um, I mean, we play a three-back system, so we try to communicate with the guys in front of us on where to go and where to be. Um, pulling those, those wing backs in every time we get the chance is, is key. Uh, we, uh, Noble stresses a lot, organize the weak side, and that's something that I've, I've been working on and I've been trying to get better at, but it's uh, definitely a big thing from us is the communication in the back. Steven, Akron on Thursday. What do you guys have to do to start back play on the right foot? I mean, that's a big one. It's a big one here at home. Um, start Mac play on the right foot. We just got to be consistent, uh, do what we're doing, keep following our, our ways in transition, our ways on corners, on set pieces, things like that. We got we to be strong uh, mentally, physically. We got to be in there. And then we got to shut them out. That's one thing I think Akron gives us a tough time doing is they sc they've, they've been scoring on us, and that's one thing we need to do is make sure we shut them out. Steven Tukaski with his fifth shutout out of the year here against Santa Bonaventure. Steven, thank you so much for joining us, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Wes, we heard Steven's thoughts on Akron. It's a huge game. That could decide the conference. Not, not an exaggeration on it Thursday. It absolutely could. That's a big matchup to start the conference slate on Thursday. Let's pack DDS on Thursday and get a big win against the Zips. 7 p.m. kickoff here at Dick Soccer Stand, West Virginia, and Akron as Mac play begins.